Hey guys, my name is Michelle Amar and we are so excited to be here tonight at the Henry County Women in Business Funding Pitch. This is a great opportunity for women all over the Sunther Crescent to share a little bit about their business in front of several investors. And guess what guys, tonight there will be a winner. There will be one woman that will be awarded some funds to help grow their business. You guys don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. So now we're here with one of the contestants that's actually pitching their business tonight. How are you doing today? Awesome. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm so excited. This is a great event to be having here in the Southern Crescent. So tell our audience a little bit about what type of business you have. Absolutely. My name is Sherdon Reynolds and my company is She Prints It LLC. It's a bulk apparel printing company. We specialize in silkscreen heat transfer and embroidery, but most importantly, we specialize in helping women in business bring their visions to life and keep their brands top of mind. Sir, well, good luck to you tonight. Thank you. And now we're here with another contestant. So tell me a little bit about your business. Okay, my name is Kimberly Crawford and um, I am part of the Power Panel. Our business is Pink Boots. It's an artificial intelligent application that is connected to a decentralized workforce. It's gonna change the way the human trafficking victims connect to safety and rescue. Oh, wow, so how is it gonna do that? Through artificial intelligent application, it, it's going to actually work, walk people through uh, people that don't want to get involved, don't want to actually deal with uh, being involved with safety and rescue, you can actually use our app and you won't have to be involved. Congratulations on everything and good luck tonight. Thank you. And now we're here with Dr. Karen Landry, another contestant here at tonight's funding pitch event. So tell us, Dr. Landry, tell us a little bit about your business. So I opened up a retreat, which is also called a child caring institution, i.e. group home. It's called Sevenanda, the joy of service. That's what Sevenanda means, the joy of service. Okay. It's for girls ages 13 to 18 who are in the care of Department of Family and Children's Services and the Department of Juvenile Justice. And so it's a short-term temporary placement for those girls who have been traumatized, whether that's sexual abuse or whether that's physical abuse or trauma. Trafficking. And we do have four girls right now that have been trafficked that we have in the home right now. Well, good luck to you tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And now we're here with Leah Brown from the Henry County Development Authority. How are you doing today? I am doing awesome. So tell me about what your thoughts are on an event like this being right here in Henry County. Oh my goodness, this is historic, first of all. And so on behalf of the Henry County Development Authority, we're excited to support it. Anything that's dealing with business development, growing jobs, growing small business, we're for it. So excited to be here. And now we're here with Arielle Shaw, who is the founder of the Henry County Women in Business and the mastermind behind tonight's event. How are you doing? I am well. So first off, I want to say congratulations. I was talking to you earlier today, and it was like, congratulations on a good event even before it starts. So you've had great publicity in the community, and so glad to see all the people here supporting you. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about where the passion and the idea for this event tonight came from. Well, it really came from the fact that we don't have enough support system on the south side. Uh, we're always going to Atlanta for everything. We really want to make sure we had a really good support system. We want to make sure we had access to funds in a non-traditional sense. And I mean, I'm a woman in business. I'm a business owner. I know how it is, so we're here to help. <laughs> Just in seeing the contestants as they were coming in, what was I like hearing their stories and knowing what they're going to be coming out tonight to do in pitching? Well, I know it's a lot of nerves, and um, I just constantly tell them, make sure you start with a story. Once you understand your story, you're able to communicate your story, everything else will flow. So I know that being a woman in business, to have an opportunity like this, just think back when you were starting, if an opportunity like this came your way, you know, how, how, how do you know that it would change your business? I think the opportunity, one, to perfect my craft, to perfect my story, to be able to sell what it is. So if I can sell it, then I understand it. Um, and the ability to say, somebody believes in me and they're gonna actually help me with funds. I think I would be floored. And you know, it's more than just the funding because we did speak with the financial coach or if it's gonna be helping the, the winner throughout her process as well. Absolutely, and I think that is probably the most significant part. I mentioned that too, where I was like, you know, how important is it to really have a coach that helps you through this process? It's a lot. Yes, yes. so I really think the financial coach is probably the best because, as and Tara is actually going to be the coach, Tara Jackson, she basically said it doesn't matter how much money you get, as long as you can increase that amount, and that is in the strategy, which is what they're going to work with them on, that is priceless. <laughs> so... So in closing, is there anything that you want to share with our audience, even words of wisdom for maybe entrepreneurs that are out there, women in business, anything that you want to put out there to everybody? So what we want to really push out is, listen, I'm one person. <laughs> 
I have a passion, but our goal is to make sure this is not just a one-time thing. We want to make sure that those who receive actually put themselves in a position to give back as well. So um, we, we want to do it bigger, we want to do it better next year and the years to come, and I really think we'll have that support. Thanks so much, and congrats Thank again. Thank you. And now we're here with the City of Stockbridge Mayor Anthony Ford. How are you doing today? Just fine. I'm absolutely fine. This is great. I feel good today. It is. You know, this is going to be a phenomenal event. Tell me, what are your thoughts having an event like this here in the City of Stockbridge? Well, it's, it's always great to have women in business in Henry County to come here to the City of Stockbridge to have an event. And this is unique tonight in this aspect. So I think it's the first time the concept is, is coming to fruition for the very first time. So it's great. And I want to welcome everybody in the City of Stockbridge. It actually sets up the, uh, the success rate and sets for entrepreneurs and women that want to start businesses. And this is great. This is what we're all about, small business and entrepreneurship in the city. So. so we are so excited to actually be here with one of our panelists tonight, Chef Carlos Brown. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Thank you very much. So tell me, what are you looking forward to with this event tonight? Well, first of all, there's a whole lot of ladies in this room. <laughs> Smart man. So, so i got to be very cautious of my choice words, but I'm definitely excited about seeing them all come together. I'm looking forward to being part of the panel. So tell me what it was like with you. You're a, pers a celebrity personal chef. So what was it like for you when you were starting your business and to have an opportunity like this come about? What are your thoughts on all of that? Oh, wow. My, my business started years ago, of course, with um, the actor, comedian, Jim, Jim Carrey. He's my first client, uh, celebrity client. And so I went from Jim to all the way up to Oprah Winfrey. So, you know, it's been exciting. Um, I got a break because I believe in it. And I kept pushing. I never stopped. And so here I am today. And now we're here with Madam Money, who is actually going to be the financial coach for whoever the winner is tonight. How are you doing today? I am awesome. I'm so excited to be here. Awesome. Honey, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for many people here in the community just to have the event first off, but then for the winner to know that they're going to have financial planning with you guys is amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to talk strategy, how they want to spend the money, give them a plan. So that is my whole goal is to make sure they have a plan to actually spend the money to grow their business. And now we're here with another one of our contestants. Crystal, tell me a little bit about your business. Hey world, it's your girl, the Melanated Pearl, bringing that black light to things that aren't quite right. Crystal Perry, I'm the founder of the Melanated Pearl Corporations, a nonprofit in Clayton County, serving black women. Our mission is to educate, uplift, and empower. And now we're here with Camille, who is actually the social media contest winner on SCB. How are you doing today? I am awesome. Thank you so much for having me here. So come to find out, you actually have a business, so you're not pitching tonight, but you are the winner. So tell me a little bit about what you do. Okay, well, my name is Camille Toppin. I'm the founder of Miss Camille's All Purpose Seasoning. It's based on the family tradition of creating what we call um, green seasoning. Um, it's made from fresh green herbs and spices. Um, it's, it's made with everything that you need for a well-seasoned dish. It's great for barbecue. You know, it's tailgate season coming up right now, and you know. So you can use it for barbecue, sauteing. Um, it's great for seafood vegetables even, we use as a base for stews. Miss Camille's all-purpose seasoning is it tastes so good it makes you want to cook. <laughs> That's gotta be some good seasoning. Uh, my name is Amy Love and I am a new entrepreneur just recently launching my own consulting business and have done work at with Henry County before and am super excited to be here tonight to support women entrepreneurs and particularly those in this region and um, to what's next. So we definitely want to thank everyone who had a hand in this and putting out the information, SCB TV, Pierre Branding, I know we're not listing names, but we want to thank all of our sponsors who believed, who are willing to put more money towards it next year. And we're excited you hear the crowd behind me, so I'm going to have to go, but we thank you all for supporting Henry County Women in Business. Thank you.